Hi, it's the Irish Gypsy here to give you your February 2016 reading. I am using the Gilded Tarot deck, drawing eight cards for the month, two cards for each week, with an additional card as your overall theme and general feeling for the month. As I always say, these are general readings, and so if they don't apply or resonate the same with everyone who watches, I suggest you check your rising and your moon sign as well. A special thank you to those of you who continue to reach out to me for personal readings. Uh, you've been keeping me very busy, and it is an honor and a pleasure to read for you. Thank you for those. And a continued thank you to those of you who watch and follow and listen and subscribe to my channel and my videos. Uh, your feedback and your comments have been so very positive, so thank you very much for that. And thank you for your patience on uh, waiting a few extra days for the readings, all of the readings to come out. The mood has played havoc with my schedule, uh, but it's just about there. So thank you for your patience again. And this is the month of February, which means Valentine's Day. And it is a month where we tend to focus more on love and relationships than most other months. So towards that end, I am offering a couple of different specials on love readings. So if any of you are interested in those or interested in any other personal readings, you can click on the About sign on my channel's homepage. And that will give you a little more detail and information and my contact information as well. Uh, you can also email me at maggie, the number one, mcguire at gmail.com. So let's get right into this. This reading is for Aquarius for February 2016. Aquarius, February 2016. What does the month of February hold for the Aquarian? February 2016. Aquarius. February 2016. Okay. So for the first week, we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. We have the Five of Wands. For the second week, we have the Nine of Wands, the Two of Cups. For the third week, we have the Three of Cups and the Ten of Swords reversed. For the fourth week, we have the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. And the card that you have is your overall theme or general feeling of the month. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Devil card. Interesting. Let's take a look, Aquarius. Interesting. All right, let's begin. We begin with the Two of Pentacles reversed and the Five of Wands. So the Two of Pentacles reversed. Pentacles, the element is that of Earth, and Pentacles is a suit that points towards some um, things in our tangible, grounded, physical world, typically money, finances, resources, property assets, job, things like that. The Two of Pentacles in the upright position would represent um, perhaps juggling two different things or uh, feeling like you're involved in a lot of different things, you're constantly juggling. There is a sense, too, of not seeing uh, uh, some really positive things that are also right around you. You can see there is a rainbow um, reflected in the sky behind this man, but his back is to it, so he can't see. And also there is a ship in the background coming in, dolphins uh, leaking in the water, all uh, harpingers of good luck and good fortune and things coming to fruition. Uh, but this man also has his back to them, so there is an implication that he can't see uh, good things which are coming right around the horizon. And I don't often get that feel off this card, um, Aquarius, but for some reason I am. I almost feel like you've been, you're stuck in some kind of uh, mental frame of mind that's uh, very difficult. I feel like it's just a lot of conflict and struggling. And there seems to be a certain element of it being relationship-based, at least for some of you. Just a lot of conflict and instability and going uh, back to back. But the message that I'm getting uh, off this card is, uh, in the reverse, it feels like there is going to be uh, an end to that. Um, 
an end to the knot, being able to see uh, these things that are right around you. It looks like, it looks like, um, you know, it's interesting. I just finished doing uh, another one of the air signs, Gemini, and I'm, I kind of got the same sort of feeling. So perhaps there's something in the air for the air signs this month. It's almost as if you, you're, you're coming out of, or you're almost coming, you're almost to the end of coming out of some very difficult, turbulent time where there's just a lot of conflict going back and forth, I sense, a lot of juggling and of not actually seeing something that's right around you that's quite positive. And I feel like this Two of Pentacles in reverse is actually uh, representing the end of that. It's combined with uh, the Five of Wands and the Upright. And while this card can uh, play out a couple of different ways, I feel like, again, that Two of Pentacles in reverse is going to represent the ending of uh, the feeling of this constant battling, this circular conflicts going around and around and again. Not that it's serious. You can see that the men in, uh, who are sparring in this field, they're not out for blood. It's not anything really serious. And again, I'm just getting just a sense of things going around and around, just a certain sense of conflict, petty squabbling, back and forth. And again, for a large portion of you, I feel like this has been relationship related in some sense, but that it is coming to an end. I don't feel like it's quite at an end exactly. Uh, like for Gemini, it was actually coming out of that, but I feel like it's very close to being at an end for you this month, Aquarius. Now, in the second week, we have the Nine of Wands, followed by the Two of Cups. So again, I'm getting this echoing of um, a sense of, of, of conflict and confusion and stress and, and instability around a relationship. We have the Nine of Wands, which Wands, the element, is that of air and fire. Like the Five of Wands, it implies a lot of movement and motion and action and power and activity. It's a very fiery, passionate, creative suit. And the Nine of Wands speaks of uh, taking a time out from uh, a battle or having run into a challenge or an obstacle of some kind, and it's been rather unexpected. But this card speaks of being towards the end of it. It's not quite the Ten of Wands, which is... You know, the card that depicts him bowed under the weight of those ten wands, but just about at the point where he can lay them down. But you're almost at the end of something very difficult, very challenging, and you're at the point right now where you're trying to figure it out. You're trying to figure out, look back at everything that's happened, everything that went wrong or hasn't felt right, and trying to figure out what happened, get a different perspective on it, re-strategize before you go back in. Because this card does symbolize... Uh, uh, withdrawal, but not retreat, so to speak, just taking a time out from it, trying to figure it all out before you go back in and attack it from a different angle, which is what this card speaks of. And this card is coming accompanied by the Two of Wands, which uh, a lot of us know to represent the soulmate card. Uh, cups, the element is that of water, and cups is a suit that points towards love, relationships, our emotional atmosphere, both inner and outer. It's a very emotional suit. And the Two of Cups speaks of a union between two people, but a union that has uh, quite a strong thread of the, divin the divine about it. This is a union that goes beyond just the sheer uh, chemical, physical attraction of being attracted to each other and drawn to each other. It speaks of a union that's mental, physical, sexual, spiritual, um, kind of the whole package deal, the soulmate, so to speak. And Aquarius, I feel like combined with the Nine of Wands, whatever this struggle is, it looks like you've been going through, uh, for those of you who are in an established relationship, um, there's been some kind of struggle and conflict within it, a kind of a back and forth, and, and perhaps even for some of you, a breaking down or a, a temporary separation of some kind, where you both have taken some time out and taken a step back to try and figure things out before coming back together again. And, um, and, and again, I feel like for those of you for whom it's been a separation of this soulmate, of this really close connection, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a love romantic, um, it could be just a very good best friend, kind of a heartmate sort of thing, a really close family member, but, it, but a very extreme and strong um, connection with this other human being. Um, perhaps I think for some of you there's been a time out, there's been a bit of a separation time where you've been trying to figure out what the source of all this strife and squabbling and back and forth conflict and instability has been before you come back to, together again because there's some sense, and the cards are pointing to this, that this is the person you're meant to be with, this is your soulmate, so to speak, 
and it's something that really needs to be worked out and requires some healing. But again, the feeling that I'm getting is that you're just about there. You're, you're almost at the end of it. Now, going into the third week of the month or somewhere in the last half of February 2016, it looks like there is a successful coming back together, a successful reconciliation. And for those of you who have been single, this could be somebody from the past coming back in. Um, for those of you for whom this does not resonate as any kind of a love reading, um, in terms of how it could resonate maybe in business or the job world, I'm actually not, I'm not reading that. It's not what I'm picking up. So you may want to check your rising and your moon sign. But for those of you for whom this does resonate, it looks like in the last half of the month, there is a successful coming back together, a reconciliation, some kind of resolution has reached a successful coming back together somehow. Things are getting resolved um, or you're in the process. Again, I get the feeling that it's not quite over, but that you begin a successful healing period. We have in the third week the Three of Cups, followed by the Ten of Swords reversed. Now, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. I've heard this card referred to as the party card, but of course it does have a much deeper significance than that. It does represent a celebration of some kind. You can see these three women are dancing in the air above these three goblets that are overflowing into each other. They're dressed in beautiful gowns and waving their colorful banners, and it's really just a card of celebration, of celebrating uh, something, of um, a very lightheartedness of being together. This card also represents spending time with people in whose company you feel very joyful and very comfortable and um, just very happy, uh, a sense of well-being. It looks like um, the struggle and the strife that you've been going through, um, be it with a current mate or, again, somebody coming from the past, some kind of reconciliation. There has been some kind of successful resolution. Um, well, maybe not successful resolution. I don't think that's quite the words I intended to use. But there's been the beginning of some kind of healing process, a coming back together again to work things out that feels very successful and positive and leaves you feeling um, very happy and, and, and representing the end of previous heartbreak and the end of a sense of kind of betrayal. Uh, the Three of Cups is accompanied by the Three of Swords in the reverse. Now in the upright, Swords, the element is that of air, and swords is a suit that points towards our thoughts, our ideas, our ways of thinking, our perspective, reasoning, logic. It's a very mental and cerebral suit. Um, and this ten of swords speaks of, in the upright, speaks of, I've heard this card referred to as the stabbed in the back card, as you can feel, um, as you can see these swords, all ten swords are uh, pointed downwards at this man who's face down in the ground. He's been overcome, defeated by something. It can point to a very strong sense of betrayal, a, a sense of heartbreak and, and heartache, uh, a sense of, again, of being betrayed and of a deep, almost crushing disappointment. But tens also represent the culmination of something, the end of a cycle, something coming to an end, coming to a close so that something else can begin, which is what's happening you see in the background here. Whatever violence, whatever trauma has happened in this scene, it is over, it is done, the worst is over with. You can see that um, the animals are beginning to return to the scene. The sun is coming up in the background. The birds are flying. And there is almost a holy divine light shining through these swords. Uh, something has happened and what has been needed to be cut away has been cut away or is in the process. It's almost at that end. And <clears throat> it will almost be time for this man to rise again. Um, now, in the reverse, and especially accompanied with the Three of Cups, it looks like Whatever this difficulty you have been going through, whether, again, it's a relationship or something else that feels like it's very near and dear to your heart, Aquarius, in the month of February 2016, it looks like this coming back together, the beginning of this path of healing and restoration, this cause for celebration is representing an end to this um, sense of betrayal and, and heartache. Perhaps uh, you were under the impression that um, perhaps the separation or break that you had with this person um, turned out the reasons turned out to be something different or there's just something about it that's representing um, the end the ending of a sense of betrayal and heartache and, and deep disappointment so that's a really wonderful thing and, and definitely a cause for celebration now at the end of the month we have the five of swords followed by the eight of swords now the five of swords is Technically a kind of a victory card, but not really. Um, you can see this man has uh, defeated or vanquished his foes or, opon or opponents. They are 
down in the ground in various positions, obviously defeated. He has gathered up all their swords and he is holding his own aloft in victory. But if you look closer, you can see that this battle has cost him quite a bit. He doesn't look particularly victorious. He's bleeding from a cut on the forehead. This battle, this, this battle has, even though he has won, it has cost him a lot. He is weary and exhausted. And this card begs the question, is it worth it? Um, so somewhere at or towards the end of the month, Aquarius, it looks like you're asking yourself that very same question. Everything that you've gone through um, and this coming together again. I often read this card as asking the question, is it worth it? And the, there being a sense of doubt as to, you know, perhaps this costs too much um, because there's just a sense of exhaustion and weariness and, and of wounds as well. Um, it's cost a great deal to come through this. And most of the time I read this as, as perhaps investing too much in something where the end does not turn out to justify the means. But I actually feel, um, Aquarius, that at the end of the month of February, I'm getting kind of a different read off this card that um, because of this beginning of this path of, of healing and restoration, this reconciliation or coming back together again, that represents the end of all this pain and turbulence or represents being towards the end of it. It looks like the question that you ask yourself, has it been worth it? It looks like it has been worth it or somehow you make the decision that um, the feeling that you get is, yes, it's cost me a lot, almost almost, almost pushed you right to the very brink, but that you continue to keep fighting and in the end you were victorious about it and it's something you feel was very worth it because we. it's also accompanied by the Eight of Swords reversed. So in the upright position, this would represent being held hostage by your own thoughts. Um, by yourself. Uh, this woman is, is encircled by a, held hostage, if you will, by a ring of swords. And uh, she's all chained up. She's on her knees and she is blindfolded, which represents a very strong sense of vulnerability of being enslaved to something, of being on your knees to something, of being chained up and blindfolded. But if you look closer, you can see that this chain that's wrapped around her wrist is not attached to anything. Nobody's holding it. With a flip of her wrist, she could easily these chains would fall off and she could take the blindfold off herself, implying that there's something right in front of her that she's unwilling to look at, this sense of feeling uh, like a victim, powerless, out of control, like, like there's, no, uh, there's no recourse, there's no way out, um, when all she has to do, the control for it really is, is in her own mind. She's the only one that's actually holding her hostage there. But as it falls in the reverse, Aquarius, again, it feels just like a running continuation of this story that at or towards the end of the month, this um, it feels like you're, you're just ending the month with a sense of, wow, this really cost me a lot. This cost us a lot. It's been a long, hard road. We've both come through it somewhat scarred but, and tired, but still victorious. And there's an end to this circular thinking. There's an end of feeling helpless and, and like a victim. So, wow, what a ride. It feels very intense and very powerful. The card you pulled is the overall theme and general feeling of the month was the major arcana card of the devil, which um, is a card that speaks basically of imbalance. It can represent addictions like conventional addictions, drugs, sex, alcohol, gambling, spending, that sort of thing, obsessive clinging relationships that might have been cause of the separation or problems within this relationship. But basically the underlying theme is a sense of imbalance, of too much attention and focus um, and control being put in one in one area of something so the scales are out of whack. There's just a real sense of, of, of imbalance, um, things being out of proportion. Um, and as your crowning card and the umbrella card, if you will, over this whole reading, it looks like it's a very turbulent ride. It looks like you're ending January, going into February, kind of still on this around and around, up and down, back and forth, conflict sort of thing. But it looks like Aquarius, towards the last half of the month, um, even though there's still a bit of, again, up and down, because unlike Gemini, who I felt actually began February already coming out of this, I feel like February for you, Aquarius, is you're just working your way through the last bit of it, the dregs of it, so to speak. But that at or by the end of the month, you reach a resolution of this and the beginning of a, of a path of healing and restoration and of grounding out and leveling out this sense of imbalance. So, wow, a very intense kind of feeling. I actually was almost kind of breathless and uh, kind of a bit um, had that emotional up and down in myself during this reading. Uh, but it looks like it's going to wrap up pretty well for you, Aquarius. So 
I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. I hope it has resonated for you or at least given you a little bit of food for thought and insight and clarity on the past to come and uh, perhaps some things to consider as you move through February 2016. If any of you are interested in a personal reading, please feel free to click on the About button on my channel's homepage. And you can also email me at maggie1maguire at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks for the mid-month reading. And as always, I wish you joy, peace, blessings, and a happy life. Thanks for watching, Aquarius, and I'll see you soon. Bye.